Well, it's really nice to meet you. How's uh, <laughs> how's LA for you? Is it sunny there? Yes, it's quite sunny. It's a bit cloudy this morning, which I like. Makes me feel a bit more like home. The sun <laughs> is too hot for me, you know. But I'm I'm liking LA. It's good. Last time I was in LA, it rained for about four out of my five days I was there. So oh, that's very amazing. rare. It's like seeing a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been being back out into uh, real life this year? Oh, yeah, this is real life, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's been, it's been strange, but also very nice. And strangely um, enough, it's been very um, natural. It was very easy to go back into old, into old ways, almost scarily easy. And yeah, it just, um, it makes sense. I feel like this life makes sense. Yeah, and it must be really nice to actually be connecting with your fans again now, like in person. Oh, yes, it is. It's very special. I I often forget of everything that's not here right in front of me right now because I get very obsessed with whatever is in my hands and in, in front of me. And it's been very good for me to, to travel the, the world a bit again and really meet the people that make all of this possible, the people that makes the music mean something. Um, and the music becomes so much more meaningful and important too, through the eyes of people. So it makes all the difference. It's very, very important. Yeah, I've spoken to a few artists that have said that some of their songs seem to have changed meaning in the last couple of years. And it's been really interesting for them. Have you found that with some of your songs too? Um, I haven't really paid attention to it. <laughs> I, I just know the songs mean something different to every person. <laughs> I will ask someone tonight after the show. Do people come up to you and tell you how they interpret your songs? Oh, yes. I think that's very, um, it's a very natural way for people to react to anything that touches a place in them that rarely gets touched, like music and art do. And I get to hear all of people's, all of their stories and their journeys and what music means to them. And it's been, yeah, it's, it's very, um, it's very fascinating and very touching also. And this new album that you've got out, which is a beautiful album, but it has those kind of quiet moments that we love from you, but it also has mm -hmm. the almost euphoric moments. And I know that you've said that it's more, more of a playful album. It feels like good timing for this album. It feels like an album we need. So have you found that these new songs have kind of been embraced by your fans even more than anything else before because of the times? Yeah, I do. I do feel that it's been, it's gotten a very close connection with people. And it's weird because often, often the albums happens to be surprisingly in tune with the world when they come out. Because often they're made like two years before. But obviously, yeah, during this pandemic, I really wanted to make, or I felt like making something that was filled with light and freedom and liberation and messages I felt like I needed to hear and the world maybe needs to hear too. Um, so it's definitely a product of, of, um, of you know, the, the things we've all been going through together um hmm. i wonder how my next album is going to be i've already started it you see so i'm very excited oh, about wow. it. <laughs> but yes first this album that's already out it's been it's been very fun making it and i'm i'm very grateful to how people have accepted it into their hearts you say that you've already started thinking about the next album are you the kind of artist the songs just come to you whenever or you sit down with the focus to write a song no they just come here and there it's very organic i never write if i don't feel like it because i don't like pushing it i only write when the song kind of comes bursting out anyways whether i like it or not um and i love writing i love making albums it's the thing the one thing that truly gives me pleasure in the, this world and it gives me 
a sense of feeling that I know I am here. And when anything else in life doesn't make sense, when I don't make sense, at least this does. So I love making albums. Um, so I often start the minute an album is released into the world, because then I don't longer keep it in my heart, because then I give it away to, for other people to keep in their hearts. And then I have room for a new. So I've been working on my next album for a few weeks already. Months. <laughs> Do you listen to your music after it's released? No, no. Never? No, I don't like it. I wish I did, but I don't. I listen to it when I have to in the studio or when I approve mixes and when I produce, obviously. But after that, I don't listen to them. I don't like listening to my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay, because there's plenty of people that do, so you don't need to worry about that. Yes. <laughs> And when you take when you take these songs out on the road, do you feel they change in the live environment? Oh yes, absolutely. They really do. They change from day to day. And even during one show, the same song can change. Depends who I sing it to, because I see my audience very well from the from the stage. And I love looking at them, which makes me forget the lyrics often, because sometimes they send so much over overwhelmingly amounts of love or emotion back that I forget my lyrics uh, which is kind of bad because ruins the experience for everyone but I really like to really look at people when I sing and um, yeah even from person to person they through them the whole meaning of everything changes so much because you really see in some people's eyes what how badly they need to be told whatever the song tells or how badly they connect to I don't know it's um it's really strong and it's really fluid this whole thing yeah so the song Runaway you wrote when you were 12 years old mm. what would what would you say to that 12 year old girl now if you could speak to her I would say that just for me music was my best friend and I would say that if you are brave enough and you share your music with the world eventually, it can become other people's best friends too. And it's going to be your, your life mission <laughs> to make more best friends for people in songs. <laughs> so what music is your best friend? What do you listen to when you want to feel something from other artists? Well, I, I mostly listen to, I love movie tracks. I love wordless music with no words and um, because it makes, or I don't know, I, I, I rarely listen to music, <laughs> which is horrible because mm -hmm. I should support um, my own industry, but I, but it gets enough support. Oh. But yes, I, 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 I rarely listen to music because I love silence, but obviously when I'm in, in the city, it's loud anyways, and I, I'm not used to the city. Um, so then I like to listen to movie tracks. Hans Zimmer mm. or Thomas Newman, um, Johan Johansson. Yeah, I'm really into m movie tracks because then I feel like it just becomes, it's not too distracting. It still makes room for me to think about my own music in words, but it can like cancel out all the noise from the cars and machines i think you're the kind of person that appreciates the small stuff yes and i think a lot of people have learned to appreciate the small stuff more over the last couple of years because of what we've been through which is mm. i think which i think is a good thing oh yes you've also had a lot of success obviously probably more success than you thought you were going to have when you were 12 years old <laughs> but at this point in your life what does success mean to you, really? I think I feel very successful when I spend my time right. Because time is the most precious thing we have. We have a lot of it, more than we think. But it's definitely the most precious thing we have. And when I, when I feel that I've spent <clears throat> my time with either doing something I love working really hard because I know eventually it will be a good thing 
and for again something I truly love music art people if it's spent with good conversations with true meetings with other people in this world um, enjoying life enjoying food being sad too sometimes it's been time is important spent crying and um, I don't know when I spend my time right I feel very successful and I'm when I'm aware of over what I'm doing my power my voice um, and my, my, my place in this world sometimes it feels like I'm here alone and sometimes it feels like I'm really coexisting with people that's a good balance to find I don't know I think that's when I feel the most successful when uh, because life is so weird and I, I care about or there's so little things I care about that people think I care about and it's not important all of these things success you know it's um because good bread and good cheese will always be here and good wine just like a moment of oh looking up to the sky and feeling the sun on your face, feeling it warm you and give you energy. I don't know, these small things will be here no matter what. And that gives me a tremendous amount of peace. And when I'm aware of this and I live my life in tune with everything, I feel very successful at life. <laughs> That's one of the most beautiful answers I've ever had from anybody I've spoken to. <laughs> Nice. And I completely, completely agree, especially you know, so many people that are counting their likes and counting their streams. And mm. all that. So, yeah, I really appreciate you saying that. And I wish you continued <laughs> success. <laughs> all of that. Um, thank you very much for spending some time talking to me. Thank you. And thank you for your questions. And also your your eyes give a lot, lot of like calm and and respect and and kindness so it's really comfortable to answer your questions when you're looking back so thank you for being so you know like that it's very nice thank you very much uh, <laughs> it's been a pleasure so enjoy the rest of your day yes you uh, too <laughs> in a room soon yes <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day as well okay bye, bye. Have a good time. <laughs>